Wow, look at these guys go. These are Celestial Pro Daniels. Two males doing their thing. Maybe trying to establish who's cooler, who has the best colors. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't going to make another video, but I just think this is so cool to see these CPDs going at it. Um, th there's two females in here besides these guys. And uh, they're, they're keeping their distance right now because of this. Uh, sorry, I have that smudge there. Uh, I will, you know, clean the tank, but I didn't think I, I thought I cleaned it well and I missed that spot. That's why it's so bad. It looks like I, I missed it a couple times already. But yeah, these guys are going at it. They're, uh, they don't harm each other. They're just doing this thing with a display. Uh, the guy on the left is obviously a little bigger, but the guy on the right is not giving up that easy. As you can see, he has really nice stripes on the bottom of his, uh, what is that? The, the pectoral fin? Not pectoral fin, right? That's a uh, anal fin, I think. And uh, they just have really nice patterns of CPDs. Here, I'm keeping them in uh, cold water. Oh, wow. Looks like the small one won. I keep them in uh, cold water, uh, 68 degrees. Um, there's a few nights where it gets really cold. And it goes down to like 66. Doesn't happen too often. Oh, they're still going at it. Uh, these guys are so awesome. Uh, a lot of times when you get these uh, or when you see them at a, lo at a local fish store, they don't look as nice. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people will get them because they look nice at the store. But they, a lot of people get surprised once they really get their colors in their home tanks. Like, I didn't, ex I honestly never had CPDs. I always wanted them since um, years and years ago when they first came out. I was a lot younger. And they were a lot more expensive than they are now. Um, back then, I didn't know them as Celestial Pro Daniels. I knew them as Galaxy Rasboras. And I always wanted some. But, you know. It was uh, it was more one of those uh, I would just bug my dad to buy me some, uh, and uh, eventually like the he well, actually no he never did buy me any because they never looked that nice. I'm pretty sure if he would have seen this behavior in the store, he would have most likely bought them right away. <laughs> me and my dad really go back to go way back when it comes to fish keeping. Um, we uh, uh, we also cut a lot of fish when we started, but now you know we both have our own established tanks and stuff and uh yeah so i got these guys recently maybe like a uh, two months ago i only got four um just because um i just want to try them out see what they would do in my tank and i was setting up this cold water tank and i figured well what's the best looking um cold water fish you can get and uh, uh everybody online and Everywhere was like CPD, CP Celestial Pro Daniels, and I was like, "Oh, I forgot about those guys." You mean the Galaxy Rasbora? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I went out to my local fish store. He hooked me up. Uh, he, uh, the guy down there, uh, he Coast Gem USA, they're called. He gave me a killer price on these four. Uh, I was just gonna, I just walked in there to buy some plants, and he was like, "Talk me into it," and. Um, I got them, uh, like I said, they didn't, they were very small when I got them, very, very small, which is why he hooked me up at the price. Um, they almost looked really too fragile, and uh, I was uh, I was kind of scared they wouldn't eat, but um, they did pretty good. I started feeding Brian, baby Brian shrimp, um, slowly got onto uh, fluval bug bites, kind of crushed them. Um, now they're eating a mixture of like fish flake food that's crushed, uh, fluval bug bites, uh, frozen Daphne and uh, frozen baby Brian shrimp. Actually, frozen Daphne, I have not used. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh, frozen uh, baby Brian shrimps. And uh, so, yeah, they look like they're doing really good. The tank is uh, pretty decently planted, so they come in and out. I'm I was very surprised to see their behavior. They actually don't school as much. They. They behave more like an apisto does, like a cichlid, or like what a what a beta would do, where they just kind of like dart in and out of plants. Uh, not really. They don't really spend too much time out in the open like this. Like you see these Daniels up there, that's what they do. These guys, this is exactly what they do. Besides when they're fighting, I mean obviously, when they're not fighting, they're just kind of zipping in and out of caves, in and out of plants. Really awesome fish. Um, shy fish right now they're not shy because they're f doing this duel but normally they're pretty darn shy <laughs> they're 
Like you'll approach, you'll approach the tank and they'll probably shy away, but then they'll, they're funny because they'll come right back. Look, this everybody, everybody else is breaking up. All the fish had enough of that. They're like, cut it out, stop that already, guys, stop. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Um, it, it seems it seems like they really enjoy having dense, like uh, foliage, you know, plant life. But uh, yeah, I'm very surprised to see their colors. I didn't, you know, I hear stories about CPDs and like, like people always say, oh yeah, get to lesser pro Daniels if you can get good ones. You know, like it's one of those things where like I guess you can get bad ones. I don't, I don't know. These guys, I mean, the fish store that I went to, like they, it's not like they pride themselves on these guys and you know I just got some and they look awesome to be honest. They look pretty awesome. See, I'm gonna show you the female now. The female is in here. See what they do? This is basically what they do. They just kind of chill in and out of plants. Where does she go? Well, here's a female approaching the fight. See it right there? A lot less color. Other female back there. If you can see, this female started getting that black, like a black spot, kind of like a, what a guppy does when she's pregnant. She has that black spot by the... I'm not going to try to guess what that's called. But where the baby would come out from, I guess. The eggs. If they were to have eggs. Now, these guys are egg scatterers. So, good luck trying to find eggs if you have dense plants like this. I mean, if you have, if you set up a tank just for them, I'm pretty sure you put some mops in there and you'll get them out. But... Here, they're kind of mixed. Um, uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm just kind of crossing my fingers that some of the babies will hatch and survive and I'll be able to feed them somehow. But, you know, I'm not sure since uh, we do have this little school of uh, gold ring daniels and uh, I'm pretty sure if they saw some tiny baby stragglers, they might take them out. I'm not sure, you know, they're not, they're not aggressive or anything. They'll just, it's just food, you know? So, uh, kind of sad for them that, you know, they're dueling it out and they might still not have babies, but I said, beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. I wasn't trying to do this video on CPDs, but God, you, you, I mean, when you see two males fighting like this or dueling like this, you gotta bust out your camera, right? <laughs> Alright, guys. You guys have a good one. Like, subscribe, please. Have a good one.